now that you have a fairly good understanding of how the pre and the post incrementations operator work let's consider more complicated expressions on the same let's begin by considering the complete program what i really need to explain in this is the expression that contains two pre incrementation operators for the time being i'm going to send this program away and what i really need to focus is on this expression how to evaluate this let's see as you know i will have to create a variable a and you know very well that it is 5 that we have initially placed inside the variable a and this is pre incrementation and according to our technique we need to increment first and then use it later this is also pre incrementation so i will have to increment first use it later let's apply now increment so i'm going to increment this 5 and make it 6 next use so i'm going to use that 6 that 6 is what i've used next again i need to increment so i would increment this and it becomes 7 and i have to use it so i'm going to use that 7 In other words, you know that six plus seven is what that gets into B. So the final value in B happens to be thirteen. Well, let's check if it really works. I'll call it back, and when I'll execute, this is the output. Quite simple. Let's consider another complex expression. I would just. send that expression away and i'm going to get back a new expression in which i have two post incrementation operators for the time being i'll just send away this program and this is the expression that i really need to focus on and to evaluate this you know the technique that already we have created the variable a and you know that the initial value in a happens to be 5 now since this is post incrementation i will have to first use and then increment same is the case here i'll have to use and then increment so let's apply when i'll have to first use so i'm going to use that data 5 and then i have to increment so i'll increment it next I have to use so I'm going to use that value that is 6 and then I have to increment okay I would be incrementing and this becomes 7 so the value that gets into b happens to be 5 plus 6 that is 11 hope you've been able to understand the technique nevertheless I'll call my program back. When I'll execute, this is the output. I think whatever be the complexity of the expression, now you are in a position to get the answer. Now, let's consider one more complex expression. I would just remove that expression and get back a new expression, and as you can see, I have one pre-incrementation operator. and one post incrementation operator now for the time being i'm going to send this away and this is the expression that i really need to explain very quickly i'll have to create the variable a and you know the initial value in that is 5 and as you know this is the pre incrementation and hence i will have to increment and then use this is the post incrementation and hence i will have to use and then increment i would be applying it quickly so increment this becomes 6 use so i'll use that value 
next this is use so i'll use that six and then it is increment so i'm going to increment it so six plus six twelve is what that gets into b let's check i'll call my program back and when i'll execute this is the output hope all of you have been able to understand as to how the expression that contains the pre and the post incrementation has to be evaluated now that you have understood the technique i would wish you to solve this expression not just solve it i would wish you send across your answer to me in the comment section well if you really want me to deep dive into this concept and teach you more complicated versions of it it would be possible just that you have to watch my next video